Let's talk about seeing the intangible. Hey everybody, Randy Gage here. I want to welcome you to another episode of Prosperity TV. I did a little, uh, you know, pan at the start there so you can see I'm actually in Puerto Rico. That I'm not actually doing this at the Holiday Inn in Des Moines, Iowa, which is what you probably think looking behind me. And I want to talk about seeing the intangible. I want to build on what we talked about last week. Uh, last week I gave you uh, five or six, maybe seven, I don't know how many key points from my new book, Mad Genius, that I think are game changers. And I talked about how we've got to be cognizant of those. So if you didn't see last week's show, make sure after this one, go back and watch that. But th these are the game changers that I think we have to be cognizant of. Now I want to talk about going to that next level, which I, what I think the great entrepreneurs do is they see the intangible. Meaning they see the thing that other people don't see. Because every great achievement, whether we're talking about an opera, a ballet, a new innovation, a new app, it's created twice. It's created once in the mind of the visionary, the entrepreneur, and second time in the physical realm. The example we talked about last time or the week before, I talked about the iPad. Now, the iPad doesn't solve a problem, right? We say, hey, how do you create wealth? You solve problems, you add value. The iPad didn't solve any problem. But what Steve Jobs and Apple did was they created a product that was so sexy that once people saw it, they wanted to have it. So how did they do that? They saw the intangible. You remember when he launched the product, they had the press uh, event and somebody asked him, did you do any focus groups for the iPad? And he said, no, it's not our customer's job to know what they want. It's not your customer's job to know what they want. It's not your client's job to know what they want. It's not your prospect's job to know what they want. It's your job to know what they want. You have to know, you wanna really create wealth? Here's what I want you to think about this week. I want you to think about this, you know. What is the thing your customers want, but they don't even know it yet? Do some critical thinking on that. Get below, share your thoughts. As always, tell people about the show. If you're watching it on YouTube, please like it. If you're on Facebook, share it in your stream. If you're listening on iTunes, tell, on iTunes, tell people about the podcast. And until next week, peace, love you guys, and live rich. You know where we're going to go on next week's show? We're going to uh, uh, go a little deeper in the psychological aspect of success because I want to talk about the concept of divine dissatisfaction. So see you next Monday.